my July favorites, which I really didn't think I was going to do. I was like, you know what? We are already so far in August. Like, let's just skip the July favorites because I feel like I didn't have that much. I feel like I couldn't think of anything. And then when I went to go sit down today, I was like, you know what? There are a lot of favorites. I could probably still do them. You guys probably still don't mind. I always feel like I asked you guys and you're always like, I don't care. You could do them. I'm like, August 15th, it'll be fine. Um, it's not August 15th. It is August 4th. You might be seeing it on the 4th or you might be seeing it on the 5th depending on how quick my internet is, which is really slow because by the time I edit this and then it processes and then it edits, it'll either be late August 4th or early in the morning August 5th. So your girl is on it making fresh videos for y'all. Um, okay, favorites. First thing, shout out to Door 3. Yes. Sexpert may be canceled over there, but I did another show that they're doing called Read My Lips, which is basically the Whisper Challenge, which I have never played before, not even on my channel. So if you guys want to go see me do the Whisper Challenge, I was really not good at it. I was really bad at it, let's be honest. And I, I felt like I was in a daze watching it back. I look like I'm, like, I don't know. It looks like I'm on something. I wasn't, but I was just like, girl, what was happening there? And also, I wore something that wasn't my cincher. Usually I wear, like, a, a waist trainer. I wore like this weird like half waist trainer cincher thing. It was like terrible. It was like half spank, half waist cincher and it was like cheaper but it was awful. And you can see my back fat roll over. So if you want to see my back fat roll over plus me play the game, it's on door three and um, yeah. I'll link it below. I'm like so confused. I feel like so out of it because I haven't like sat down and filmed for like forever. So there's that and um, I felt like I had something else. Oh, my music video for Leonardo DiCaprio is almost out. I'm working on it. It's coming. Don't worry. So that goes into my favorite of the month, which is my album, Superficial Bitch. It came out July, and of course, I have to mention that. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, if you guys haven't gotten it, it's on iTunes. I will link that below as well. And my music video for Superficial Bitch also came out July, so if you haven't seen that, I will link that below as well. And the only other, like, non... You know what? I should get into that. Should I get into that now? Okay. Well, I have a TV show favorite. And I won't, I won't be too long-winded, because the actual, like, showing the favorites, like, show and tell time, um, will commence in, like, two minutes. Just give me two minutes. But my favorite TV show right now is Mork and Mindy, and it's a show from the 80s. Um, I don't know. I feel, like, weird talking about it. Not weird, but, like, weird, like, mentioning it, because I feel like a very certain kind of person has to like it. Like, I feel like if I mentioned to my sister, who's, like, 22, she would be like, this is stupid. Like, she'd watch it and be like, I don't like it. It to be a very specific person to like it. I don't know. I'm very nostalgia and love old shows, but I know a lot of people, I'm not saying all oh, my special snowflakes I like old shows, but a lot of just people don't like older shows just because sometimes it doesn't hold up. And Mork and Mindy definitely does not hold up. It's very cheesy and very like 80s, but it's really good. It stars Robin Williams and it's amazing. And the reason I got hooked on it is because I watched, like, on as a recommendation, like totally random on my side, it said watch the unauthorized story of Mork and Mindy, which was like an hour and a half long and I wanted something to do while I was eating. <laughs> so I was like watching it and because it was an hour and a half and it was really good. It was like the behind the scenes story and they had an actor play Robin Williams who was so good at it. I forgot the actor's name, but like so good at it. And I got kind of hooked on it and I'm like, I never saw Mork and Mindy. So I started like uh, YouTubing it and like all the seasons are on. I'm up to season four right now, which I think is the last season because they just had a baby who's like a giant boy, like a big old man. <laughs> And he ages backwards. But if you watch the behind the scenes story, it's like really interesting because then you're like, oh, that was like Robin Williams' comedian, and they brought him on to like, or like one of his favorite comedians, and they brought him on to like, I don't know, inspire him to be funny too. I don't know. Anyways, that's a weird, I don't know. I shouldn't have like let off with that. I felt like it was a weird thing to the video. Also, on um, the favorites is my Henry Bundle ring. I got this little stacked ring from Henry Bundle. I love it. And then this ring, there's a whole other video coming about that. And then my uh, bracelets. I don't know. I'm literally just like mentioning things now. And my earrings I got from Nordstrom. Okay. I'm literally just mentioning what I'm wearing. But honestly, this ring I've been loving. And oh my god, crystals too. I've been loving crystals. I've been like very holistic lately, which is so not me, but me. <sighs> me. I felt like Trevor Moran. He says that all the time. Me. He always says that. Like if I say something like stupid, like oh my god, like I don't know. I say like you could literally be like, oh, I feel like so gross and lazy right now. And he's like me. It's like his thing. Shout out Trevor. And there's someone like whacking the weeds today. I don't even know what's up. It's like middle of the day. Like you just decided to start doing it at the hottest hour of the day. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Let's get into the favorites. I have quite a, well, I have quite a bit of beauty favorites for me because I don't really do a lot of beauty favorites. But foundation. Oh my gosh. The only foundation I've been using. It's a little like heavy. It's a little heavy for summer. Not going to lie. But I don't know. I've been, I've been loving it. It is the Micro Silk Foundation from Elsie. Elsie? I don't know. E-L-C-I-E. I have one in vanilla and one in natural because honestly, like, I'm either pale or tan. Today I'm tan. Um, but yeah, I'm always like so different. Only because I've been walking. 
you guys can't really probably see, but I've been kind of covered up with makeup. But I had like weird like burns on my arm. I've been like having this weird like farmer's tan because I've been like what biking and like walking and like trying to like exercise more outside than just like in the gym because the gym was like depressing to me. <laughs> but I love these so much. Um, I don't really know what I'd call them. I wouldn't call them necessarily matte. Mm, but I want to call them dewy average they're normal I don't know I, I love them though if you have oily skin and like a matte face you may not like this because they do come off a little oily sometimes but I'm going to show you what else I use on my skin that kind of gives it matte beforehand but these just look like your skin they just don't look cakey I don't know if that came out right but like I don't know lately I've not been good been good at applying my foundation <laughs> Oh my god, I really can't talk. This is why I need to film like every single day of my life because then I get out of it. I'm not great at applying my foundation, so sometimes it looks foundation-y. It looks like you could make it, but this like just goes on silky, even if you apply it with your finger. Because I've applied this with my finger. I've applied it with a beauty blender. And, uh, let me just put my nose real quick. I've applied it with a beauty blender and I've applied it with like a brush. And this is how it is. It's just like a little pump. And it goes on like very silky, very seamlessly. Which is like weird for me because foundations don't usually do that. I get good coverage on foundations, but it still looks like foundation. This is very like silky. Honestly, probably like my favorite foundation ever next to Kat Von D Locket. I love the Locket foundation. I just felt like I needed to change up. Is that going to bother you? I feel like it's going to bother you. I just kind of want to power through this and get this up today though if I can. I don't know why they just decided to start doing this now. Like it was literally just now so annoying okay moving on okay so this is like given right everyone's been talking about this this is the Becca champagne pop Jaclyn Hill who follows me on Twitter <laughs> shout out girl hey uh, I'm so excited she followed me on Twitter like she seems so classy and very just like professional and like I am beauty guru I have a Becca cosmetics line I am legit so I was like really excited that she followed me I don't know whatever I love her I love her and I was like really excited for this to come out and this is the uh, highlight yeah, champagne pop. I was like, wait, I thought I said something else. Well, I was reading the, the thing in, like, French above it or whatever it is in. Yeah. Um, amazing. It's just amazing. So many people have talked about it. It's actually amazing. I don't really use highlights that often, but it is amazing. And it does just do just that. It just highlights. It doesn't, like, give you a mask. I've been known to have a mask. Yeah. You know the mask. The one with the whiteness and then the shimmer. I just do it very, very subtle. And I also use this as an eyeshadow. It's, like, very, like, rose gold when you, like, put it on your eyelid. It's not on my eyelid today, but it's amazing. I don't need to hype it up. It's amazing. Like, everyone loves this stuff. But I had to include it because it really was, like, a July favorite. Faux shiz. And even when I got my makeup done for my music video, champagne pop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I game strong. <laughs> I want to say Jaclyn Hill actually used this on a smoky tutorial. Now I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she used it. I don't watch makeup tutorials anymore except for hers. And, like, that's rarely I watch it. But. I love hers. I'm not saying like I rarely watch hers, but I rarely watch makeup tutorials, but when I do, it's Jaclyn Hill. And I think she used this one, I think. Maybe not. I may just use the, the brand, but it's Monster Artisty and Smooth Ride Supercharged Liner in Black. It looks like this. Um, I use this for the bottom, the waterline, the lower lash line, I don't know. Uh, amazing. So, so black and does not smudge. It's actually hard to get off at the end of the night. It's amazing. And I have a really bad problem with smudging under my eyes. Like, really bad. Like, more so than most people. I don't know if it's my under skin on my eye is, like, way up there. But this and um, Clinique eyeliner, which I have been using for the past literally 15 years of my life. Um, literally 15 years? I started using when I was 13. Okay, literally, like, 14 years of my life. I used the Clinique eyeliner in really black, the crayon one. But this one I just started using, and it's it's just a deeper black, which I like. But those are the only two that I've never, like, smudged. Well, they'll smudge after, like, 14 hours, but, like, not really smudge. Um, but love this so much. And then this one I've been using for my top one. Same brand. Oh, is it the same brand? I don't know. Ardency In? Is that the brand? I don't even know. This is Punker. I got this from, like, Urban Outfitters. Like, so random. It's called Punker World's Baddest Eyeliner. And this is, like, a marker. Like, an actual marker. And this can be a little tricky to use at first. Not gonna lie. But it's amazing. And it gives you a really nice dark black line. It's very dramatic. Both of these looks are like if you want to do like let's go Arabian Nights with it. You know what I mean? Uh, for sure. Okay. Is that it for beauty? Wow. I'm like fatigued. Mm -mm. Not the word. Not the word. Not fatigued. I'm famished. Yeah. I'm really hungry and it's early. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> I'm like in 
a weird, weird mood. I'm in a weird mood right now, actually. I'm in a really happy mood and like a really sad mood at once. Not sad, but I haven't heard from somebody I've been like wanting to hear from. I haven't heard from him yesterday. But I was in a really happy mood because of other things, so it's a weird level right now that I'm at. Um, okay. Perfume. Oh my god, I have not bought a new perfume in so long because the guy I'm seeing like doesn't really like perfume. Um, so I haven't really bought new perfumes because I don't wear it that much, but when I do, I wear Marc Jacobs Mod Noir. Where did I? I don't even know if I just saw this on like new arrivals on Sephora or something. Cause I don't feel like I haven't heard anyone talking about this, but this is a really, like, it's a really clean scent. It's very like 90s, very reminiscent of the 90s. Like, I feel like a lot of the youth today missed out on some great 90s perfume. Like Estee Lauder had a great perfume in the 90s. Like, the one that was like the exclamation mark. I forgot what that was. That was really good. Um, obviously, Clinique Happy in the 90s was everything. But I don't know. There was some like really great like only 90s, like a Spree had a really good one. I just missed out on it. Speaking of Spree, I'm going to tell you about some sandals, but I had these really cool Spree sandals in the 90s that I loved, and I've always looked on eBay for them because they were the best thing ever. They were clear, and they said a Spree on them, and I loved them, but anyways, this is very, like, 90s reminiscence. It's just very, very clean, very, like, cologne very, like, I came out of the shower, which I really like that in a perfume more than, like, florals. Then you don't smell like an old lady. You're, like, you're trying to cover up a stench. Okay, so the first thing, this is like so gross, I literally just took it out of my shower. It is, and you can see I've used literally that much since the beginning of July, so just saying. This is the Grow, and Grow is spelled with an H, G-R-O-H, Ergo Boost Hair and Scalp Conditioning Treatment. That's a mouthful. Um, yeah, I, okay, so I was taking those Grow pills, I still take them. I got a new bottle, the Hair Growth Pills, which has been making the top of my head, my hair grow, because it was damaged once again. I have like an inch hair. Yeah, my hair is always getting damaged, but it's growing again. Things to grow. <laughs> um, no, but I ended up getting this because this was like the second most recommended thing, or maybe it was the first most recommended thing on Amazon when you type in grow. So I just got it. Honestly, my hair is so soft, and it honestly, I think this helps grow your hair because my hair has always grown with grow. <laughs> Sounds like such a commercial. Like, grow with grow. Um, but like lately, it's been getting strong. Like I had a lot of teasing done because we did Superficial Bitch and Leonardo DiCaprio like back to back. So much teasing, so many hairstyles. Like it was crazy. And like no damage, like it's crazy. Like usually I'm like expected to see some like shedding, like okay, my hair like shortened from like damage, but no. And I really attribute it to this. This stuff's amazing. This whole like line, this grow line. I want to try other stuff. These are the only two things I've tried. This in the pills, but it's actually amazing. If you're having like hair problems, you have damaged hair from bleach or whatever, really get grow. Mmm. This is a favorite. I'm gonna talk about this too with my other Starbucks cuppies. Oh, so good, so good. Oh, so refreshing. I love it. Okay. And then the final like beauty product is um, this little guy who's also kind of gross looking because he's like on my thing. Um, I might have talked about this because I got one of these so long ago and I like used it up and then I was like on to the next. Um, but I recently repurchased this in July. It's the L'Oreal Youth Coat. I don't know if I talked about this because um, when I first tried it, it was not good for my oily skin. I felt like it was making my oily skin oilier. So I don't know if they changed formula. It's a texture perfector day night cream. Okay. So... You don't really need this, I feel like, if you're young. You could, I guess, I don't know. It's youth coat, so it's for old people like myself. But, um, and I don't usually use day and night creams. But what I do if I'm not wearing makeup, I do put this on because it gives it, it, for me, I like even add discoloration. So I was like, okay, you know what? I don't look like a red mess because sometimes I can look really blotchy. Like I have like rosacea or something. I don't know, it's like weird. Um, so I was like using this. And I really liked it in place of makeup. And then I started using it like daily, like, because I wasn't wearing makeup, so I was like using it like daily. And I was noticing that my, like, the appearance, I was just looking like younger. I don't know what else to s describe it as. Um, I don't know, I've been changing my skin regime a lot this month, and I don't know, I really like this stuff. It feels really good on the face when you put it on. Um, I guess there's not really a smell to it, but that's kind of what it looks like. I mean, I don't know, it just feels good. I don't know, and I also feel like it's been protecting my face from the sun. I mean, there's no SPF in it. I don't know how it would protect. I just feel like it's, like, preventing stuff from getting damaged. I don't know if that makes sense, but, um, I love it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of, like, it used to make me oily, but now I kind of love it. So, I'm like, did I just get a bad batch, or did I just get a good one? I don't know. And then I'm like, is it other stuff I'm using that's, I don't know. Um, but honestly, like, it does do the job. It makes me look very youthful. It makes me my skin look one tone when I go out, and I really like this stuff and you can just get this at the drugstore 
I don't know what possessed me to buy this again because I bought this like when it was like all the rage like a year ago and I was like not into it and now I'm like obsessed with it kind of so it's like weird. Um, okay, let's move on. Let's move on. This is kind of like a beauty thing. My friend Shane got me this and I am obsessed with it so much. Like, okay, like I'm so obsessed with it. Like I carry Saint Laurent and I carry like Louis Vuitton, like you know what I mean? Like Louis Vuitton cases, like I carry like all of that, right? I have never gotten so many more compliments on this thing, and I kind of love it. I am obsessed with it. So he got this for me, like, so random, like, so random. He was out, he's like, I saw it, I thought of you, and it's Loungefly, which, if you guys don't know, like, Loungefly did my Hello Kitty purses. I used to always carry those, like, little, like, couture kitty purses. And I was like, oh, my God. And then I was like, that was so thoughtful. Like, I was so happy. And then I, like, but then I was like, thank you. But then when I got home, I was like, that was so thoughtful. Like, no one just, like is out and thinks of me. Like, I couldn't tell you the last time someone was like, hey, Trish, I was out and I thought of this for you. That, that never happens in my life. Not saying people in my life are bad, but it just doesn't happen. Like, people are just not that thoughtful. And Shane is, I've always said this, one of the most thoughtful people in the whole world. And this was just so nice. So I started carrying my um, makeup essentials in it. And uh, I have, like, some oil wipes in here. I always carry my clean and clear. I got some NARS and Archie gloss. Like, yeah, I carry, like, all my, oh, that clothes too. Oh my god, I'm so looking for this one. Oblivion. This red one. Oh, so funny. Anyways, um, so yeah, I kind of just carry like my must-haves in this, my like bare minimum makeup. Um, but I love it. It's so cute. I don't know. I just thought it was like so cute with the pizza and the turtles. I used to be obsessed with Ninja Turtles. It just made me really happy. And every time I use it, I think Shane. Every time I get a compliment, I'm like, thanks, my best friend got it for me. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what am I talking about? I literally thought this was a video that I was like not doing a favorites and then I like looked down and I'm like I have all these I literally have like two cups here and I was like wait why do I have these here favorites okay Get to those. actually you know what I showed them we don't need to keep it as a surprise Starbucks cups have been on point this month holy moly I have another one actually I have a clear one with sunglasses and that's gonna be in an upcoming Target haul because I threw them in Target Bay because I got it Starbucks inside Target I got one for me and my mommy when we were in the West Hollywood Target. And this one, I get so many compliments. Some people love it. There is a Starbucks girl right there. It's empty right now. And then this one, oh my gosh, was so obsessed. I could not find this one anywhere. This has like a textured bubble thing. And I found this one too in Beverly Hills when I was out with Kale shopping for his shoes. So yeah, I haven't bought Starbucks cups in so long because I have so many, but they were so cute that I couldn't pass them up. So yay, good job, Starbucks. Since we're on the Starbucks camp, I might as well tell you what I've been drinking, what I've been sipping on gin and juice now. I have been sipping on this mango tea lemonade which I have been like way too obsessed with. Like this one is actually from last night. That's why the ice is like kind of melted and like whatever. Um because I went and got one and then I was like oh I'm gonna want one in the morning and I don't think I want to like leave my house. So I got I got like so I got one for my mom. I got one for me and then I got one for like backup. This is like an addiction. Mango black tea lemonade. Black mango black tea lemonade. Yeah. Oh my god, so good! And we got a freshly brewed one yesterday. Like it's gonna be like ten minutes because we're gonna freshly brew it. I was like, okay, cool, whatever. It's worth the wait. Um, oh yum! If you like iced tea and lemonade together, get the mango black tea lemonade. It is, mm, it's so refreshing. It's so refreshing, and I don't, I don't want to know how many calories. But maybe they're not bad. I always try to tell myself maybe it's not bad because it's tea and lemonade. So good, you guys. So good. My favorite Starbucks drink ever, hands down. I'd say that now until like winter comes and like the like terrible evil flavors come, but I'm so obsessed with this stuff. Oh my god, it's like so good. Like my mom's on it too. My mom's on the cake now too. She like cannot stop. She gets one like every day. She's like, I'm going to stop her to get mango black tea lemonade. I'm like, so I don't have too many calories in them because I've been drinking those like water. So good. Okay. I don't know. I'm like, okay, there's only like a few more things I have to show you guys. Oh, did I mention my shirt? You guys know what the shirt is? I just posted it on Twitter and Instagram. It's getting a lot of good response. Earn it. John Cena. John Cena's ass is a favorite. John Cena and train wreck. Holy moly, guys. Mm. Yes. I don't like the buff type. And I don't like traditionally handsome, good looking guys at all girls swoon over. Not my type. But holy F. John Cena's ass. Pounding into Amy Schumer, I'm like, I almost like had an orgasm in the theater. I was like, I literally was like squeezing my legs together because I could feel the vibrations happening. Yeah. His ass. His ass. 
<laughs> John Cena. <laughs> I love him. I love him. I came obsessed with him. I started following him on Twitter. I don't watch wrestling or anything like that. And a lot of you are like, don't let Dolph Ziggler know. Dolph's my boy. And I haven't seen Dolph's ass. But I have seen John Cena's ass and mmm, mmm. Buys ass, ass, cakes, cakes, cakes. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> Shoes, I have been loving Nike slides. I have two pairs. I have this pair, which is, I like fell over these, like I tripped over these the first time I wore them on a show I did. I can't tell you the TV show I did, but I did a TV show where I was like in heel all day, and then I got these on, and they were so comfortable. And then these ones, I think, are like heaven. They're literally marshmallows on my feet. And um, they're relatively inexpensive. I got them from like, I want to say like Dick's Sporting Goods maybe, or like, I don't know. I don't know where. I think it's something like a Wani Low or something. Um, Nike slides are so comfortable. So comfortable. They will save your feet. When I'm on my music videos, I like, if it's not a close-up shot, actually, here has a little, like, thing that you're going to go look at Superficial Bitch music video right after I say it, but, um, I always ask him if you see my feet because we, they do a wide shot, which is everything, and then they do, like, you know, closer up. So I asked him, like, is this a close-up or wide? And he's like, okay, it's a wide, so I put my boots on my heels, whatever. And so in the sequence with my silver pants for Superficial Bitch, the performance one, um, when I say... Go, dress like a skanky how I do something where I like go down a little bit and my top of my feet come up and you can see that I'm like not wearing my boots and it's like my bare foot because I was in those sandals so you can kind of see it a little bit you saw the sandals more and I'm like ah uh, you can see the sandals in that shot so you like punched in but you can still see it's the top of my feet and not the boots a little interesting fact but yeah I like always will wear those like on my sets because they're so comfortable they are literally more comfortable than my feet they're so comfortable because it provides that little like cushion so I talked about TV movie and music and now it's time for books Holly Madison's Down the Rabbit Hole. This book is so good. Um, okay, so it's a good book if you are into the Playboy sort of like, I don't know. I was really into like the Girls Next Door, so I watched every season and I was like a big fan of them. They look very glamorous, so it's a very like non-glamorous look at what she thought was so glamorous. Um, so I loved this book. I read it all in one night. Not kidding. I started reading it at like 10 o'clock because I like wanted to like read something to get tired to go to bed. I stayed up till like 4 and I had to be up at like 6 the next morning and I stayed up till 4 reading it. It was um, just really interesting, like really, really good. Even though after she left the Playboy Mansion then she talked about Chris Angel in the book and stuff. I just think it's interesting. This girl's brave to be like telling the story. I mean, I share a lot of my stories but a lot of times I don't name names and if I do I don't put those names in bad light usually. I'm not this bad anyways, but she she goes in on like what Hugh Hefner like would like tell her she was ugly and that she was lucky to be there. I mean... It was some interesting shit, um, but I don't know. That whole life is like glamorous to me, like being a like ugly girl from a small town and blossoming and becoming a playmate in a Playboy Mansion. Like I don't know. To me, that was always my ideal because girls are stores on when I was like in middle school, high school, and I was just like, I want to do that. I want to be those girls one day. So not, <laughs> but I thought it would be interesting, and I'm kind of glad I didn't. So that's a really good book. And then the final thing is my Dolce and Gabbana sunglasses, and these are going to be seen in my upcoming. Leonardo DiCaprio video. They make a great debut and they were so expensive. And I showed them to Shane. I told Shane how much they were. <laughs> and Shane's like, they literally look like something you bought on Etsy. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> that's not good, but I love them. They are these. I know they are so tacky and so like over the top, but, and there's like a little bug on this one and a little butterfly on this one, but they are so, so cute. I just love them so much. I saw them. Oh my God, there's already makeup on them. Yeah, I wore these out on my Leonardo DiCaprio video and I'm like sweating in them, but you'll see them on my face in there. I love them. They are just big old bug eye ones. I mean, they're huge and I love huge sunglasses and I love gaudy things and I think they're like, I don't know, I just think they're so cute. But a lot of people will find these like ugly and like tacky, but I love them and I had to make a mention of them. Yeah. So, I guess I'll just put them, oh, hello. Yeah. You know what? When your makeup's looking bomb, you just don't really want to mess them up. Right? Am I right? Am I the only one like that? Okay. Maybe not. Um... I feel like I was going to say something. I feel like I had something to say. I guess not. Okay. <laughs> well, that's it uh, for my July favorites. I hope you guys did enjoy them, and I hope that it's okay that they were up a little late. I'm going to try and be on my August favorites. Um, maybe, hopefully. Uh, I honestly thought I was going to miss this one, so I'm glad I didn't. So, cheers to that with our mango tea lemonades. <laughs> Bunny. Uh, but yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I'm so happy to be back filming 
with you guys for with you guys for you guys I feel like I'm with you guys um yeah I don't know I just whenever I do music videos I always get like really exhausted I'm like oh, I'm so tired but um I've really missed filming for you guys so I hope you guys missed me let me know in the comments below because I am going to start obviously filming because I don't really have you guys know I like pre-recorded videos I don't really have a lot of like pre-recorded videos left I think I have like one or two um so I'm going to start filming a bunch and yeah let me know in your comments below what you guys want to see because uh I'm kind of out of the YouTube loop like what's popular and what's trending what people are doing so definitely let me know definitely tell John Cena that he can earn this ass and by earn have it but I love you guys so much. Woo. Thank you guys for watching me. Thank you guys for being here on this journey that we call life. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I want to say hi to Rick Moranis. And until next time, I'm my castles. I'm my top little fishes. Mwah.